Yeah, that felt great. My name's Brian and welcome to Wrench Fest Garage. Today we're gonna to be working on the cheap Jeep budget build. The last couple installments of this Jeep, we've done custom rock sliders and rear bumper. Today we're gonna to be getting rid of this garbage and putting on a DIY bumper. This bumper is from JCR Off-Road and we've got it all laid out on the bench to kind of show you how it comes. Basically, you just gotta bend it together, weld it together. The instructions are online, so let's get after it. angles I can't get perfect on this so we're gonna go ahead and tack this together that way we can get the angles just right <clears throat> first mistake we've made we welded this on upside down backwards fortunately we just tacked it on so we'll cut the tacks we'll make it right Glad I figured this out before I fully welded it because that would have sucked. this bumper all tacked together but before I fully weld it I want to put it on the Jeep and just make sure it's gonna fit but before we can test fit the bumper we got to get rid of this garbage right here do 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 I don't know where my crap is because it's scattered there is a vacuum canister underneath here it's like to store vacuum I guess anyway we got to relocate that figure out where that's gonna go oh. whoa that was not good Ooh. Is it going to be on there forever now? So, yep. It's going to be on there forever. It's not completely seized up. And I'm not sure how to act right now. Shouldn't have said that. Now something bad's going to happen. We're going to have to get the torch out. Oh, I don't have any torch gas. <laughs> You've been out of torch gas <laughs> since like January. It ain't cheap, man. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait for it. Whoa. Go. Is it real heavy? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not heavy at all. Looks like we just got three bolts and there's a bracket here, a cheesy bracket that used to hold the old bumper, bumperette, whatever you want to call it. So we'll go ahead and pull these three bolts out of here. And we should be able to slide the bumper in. The old bumper brackets had half inch bolts and they're just a little bit too big for these holes. So I either gotta drill these holes out a little bit or find a 7 16 bolt and see if that'll fit. I don't have any 7 16 bolts so we're just gonna drill it out. Ooh. That's... That ain't working out. Well. See? That's not, that's not working out. We just gotta find a different bit here or something. I don't know. Either way, it just kind of wants to rip my hands off. Ow! Yeah! That felt great. We got them drilled out. Now let's try it again. We got the bumper on there. We're happy with it. We just need to pull it off and fully weld it now. 
Feel good about the helmet? Yeah. Do you wish you had your dentist glasses right now? No. Ground? What happens if you're not good grounded? Um, basically nothing. Oh. Oh, you want the other glove? Yeah, my Sorry help. about that. Can you get me a fresh start there? Get me a fresh start. So, I like to drag it. I don't like to push it. So, I would start just like this, about a 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. Closer you get, you get too close and it'll just throw it. Well, it'll just stick to everything. You get too far out and then your gas gets too far out and it sparks a lot. Do a dry run first, just to get the fill for it. A little closer. That was terrible. Okay, now start slowly. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Um, so you can see you're built up here just a little bit. Too high? So yeah, you just need to speed up just to scotch. Oh, I got like slow. You're letting, you're letting your pedal kind of build up. That was my brother-in-law, Bruce. He just swung by and wanted to learn how to weld, so we showed him how. I found a new home for the vacuum reservoir. I put it right underneath the vacuum lines as it goes into the firewall. There's already a couple of studs that comes through the firewall. So I adjusted the bracket a little bit on the vacuum reservoir, drilled some new holes, whapped off a little bit of the vacuum reservoir bracket, and then just bolted it on the existing studs. And then I just kind of wrapped the vacuum line back around to it. There were just enough for it. So it worked out pretty good. So hold it. That's good enough for pictures, right? I'm not sponsored by these guys, but these bumpers front and rear bumpers for a Jeep Cherokee are from JCR Off-Road. Super impressed with them. They're made out of 3 16 steel. The cuts on them are excellent. They're super easy to put together. Very impressed with them. So if you have the means for a DIY bumper and you can weld it together yourself, I would recommend these. We got this bumper all welded up, mounted. Everything fits good like it should. On the next video, you'll see us painting the front bumper, the sliders, and the rear bumper, and then maybe testing them out. Thanks for watching.